it seems like since Waco with social media, with the sort of like weaponization of this sort of attitude, you have like a million Branch Davidian compounds in the United States, heavily armed by people who believe that they're serving a higher purpose or set of principles than whatever the American set of laws are, right? Like, I mean, the January 6 people felt that they were serving a higher, I mean, a, a lot of this is actually built into the American sort of uh, uh, ideology itself, like the higher patriotism, like Daniel Ellsberg, for instance, let's, see, let's do one from the left. Daniel Ellsberg, the guy that, that does the Pentagon Papers, when he broke the law, he said, I'm serving a higher purpose. Martin Luther King Jr., when he breaks the law, he says, I'm not serving the, I don't, I don't respect the laws of this government. I respect the laws of God. I respect the higher law and higher moral purpose. Well, fuck, man, Timothy McVeigh sitting there, and this is the major coda to the Waco story, I guess, is McVeigh sitting there watching the children burn at Waco, April 19th, 1993, two years later, blows up Oklahoma City, the, 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 the federal building, the Alfred P. Murrah building, um, killing what, like 170 people or something like that, a bunch of kids included. And it just like plunges us into this nightmare. But my point is McVeigh felt that he also was serving a higher patriotism. And he was in that sort of like, uh, you know, just like the quote you just read, of like being in the mindset of like older times, like everything that everything that McVeigh quoted was like from Jefferson uh, and like the Tree of Liberty and Lincoln and like you know all this sort of revolutionary radical shit. Um, and it seems like just a like a major piece of American history because it's built into our entire story. If that makes sense, is this sort of like anti-government? Fuck you! I serve God kind of thing. 